All right, this video is going to walk you through real quick how to find the exponential equation in this format for a given table, like you see here. Uh, the first step you have to do is you have to find the multiplier. The multiplier you're going to find by using this formula. Multiplier equals the gap root of the next divided by previous. As you get started on this problem, you have to first of all identify what is the gap. The gap is right here. Your gap is going to have how far is it from negative 2 to 3? The gap is actually 5 units apart. Next, we have to decide, decide what is next and what is previous. The next is always the bottom of the table. And the previous will always be the first one, whatever's in the top of the table. So essentially now we're going to take this information over here, and we're going to say we're going to try to find the gap root, which is the fifth root of 112, the next, right here, divided by the previous, which is this one up here. Now the, the other difficult part of this is trying to figure out how do you put the fifth root in your calculator. If you have a TI-83 or a TI-84 calculator, you need to press 5 for the root value first, and then press math 5 to get the actual root symbol to show up like this. Then, if you have an older calculator, make sure you put parentheses around your fraction, 112 over 3600. And your answer comes back to you as 0.5. Now that you've figured out what the multiplier is, we need to next find the zero term. Now realize, the multiplier is basically saying when you multiply by 0.5, that tells you the next term down the table. Now our goal is to try to find the zero term. Now, if you're going to multiply by 0.5 two times to get from the negative two term over to the zero term, then you have to multiply by 0.5, I'll do it over here, 0.5, to the second power, because you're gonna do it two times in a row. Or you can go backwards and divide. You can divide by 0.5 also, but you're gonna be dividing by 0.5 three times to get from three to the zero. So you'll be dividing by 0.5 to the third power. Now, both of those will give you the right answer. It doesn't matter which way you go. So if I take 3,600, 3,600, and then times 0.5 to the second power, you get an answer of 900. So 900, is the actual zero term. Now that I have that, I'm basically done with this equation. So the problem, or this problem here, uh, what we have to do next is we have to say this thing starts at 900. Uh, what are you gonna, what, is, what does the multiplier tell us? When you multiply by 0.5, you're actually reducing it by 50%. That's a 50% decrease. And the way you can get that answer is if you take your multiplier of 0.5, take that and go times 100 and subtract 100. Maybe your percent won't work out that nice. But the answer you get back is a positive, or I'm sorry, it comes back to you on your calculator as negative 50. That negative 50 tells you that you have a 50% decrease. I'll put that in here too, decrease. Next, what is the equation? The equation of this problem is going to be y equals, what are you starting at? 900. What are you multiplying by? 0.5 to the power of x. And it's that simple. Now you have the equation, what it starts at, and the percent increase and decrease. Hopefully this video helps.